what is up everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here thanks for tuning in so today's video is not going as i had hoped uh mainly i was really hoping today's video would be titled something about wiring 240 into my garage unfortunately i've driven i swear halfway across the state looking for circuit breakers that i need and they are sold out everywhere um, apparently there is a large shortage of circuit breakers, especially square D home line circuit breakers coming into the United States. And like I said, they are sold out basically everywhere. I was able to find the dual, dual pull 50 amp breaker that I'm going to be installing, uh, but I need to open up some space in the garage. So I'm putting in some tandem breakers and those are gone everywhere so i had to order those in they're going to be in probably near the end of next week which obviously doesn't work out very well for a video for you guys tomorrow for me it's for you guys tomorrow um, this week as you can see been collecting lots of different supplies and everything um, i have basically everything i need to start welding except for those two circuit breakers which kind of sucks um, but it is what it is Roll with the punches, figure it out. Uh, that means, as probably by the title, we're going to be uh, painting the grill today, or trying to paint the grill today. Um, I have a wedding to go to this afternoon, and I probably only have a few hours to get this done, but I think that's enough time to get the grill painted. So, that means that I need to run to the store, pick up a spray gun, some drop cloth, some acetone, or some reducer. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're trying to get done today. So for you guys, this is going to be a couple seconds. I'm going to run to the store, and I'll be right back. Well, all right, guys, back from the store. This was quite the ordeal. Went and picked up the gun, got it back home, got everything started to get set up. Took the gun out of the box, and the plastic hopper was cracked. So I had to run back to the store, go get a new one, come back. And now I've just been kind of setting up the uh, non-professional paint booth uh, to get this project going. And I am running out of time quickly. I think I have an hour to get this done um, before I need to be leaving. So we're going to see if we can get it done. I'm just going to go through it. So you can see over here, got the grill mocked up here. I guess if you're new here, I didn't tell you guys. Uh, I own a 90 or I own a 2007-3 Power Stroke, switching it over to the 05 to 07 front end. And you're going to be paint matching this grill uh, before I put it on the truck. Uh, as you can see down there, or maybe you can see down there, got some fans set up for ventilation with some filters on them. Over here, got the spray gun set up. Um, I'm going to be putting on a 3M pressure regulator and then a Nico oil water separator. We got the paint I'm going to be using is from the Auto Paint Depot. Come on, focus. From the Auto Paint Depot, um, all pre-mixed, ready to spray. Then I have a 1K clear um, over there. Um, but yeah, this is the setup in the garage. So there we go. Um, not a whole lot to explain. I'm not going to try to teach you guys how to paint because I am learning myself. Just kind of jumping in and figuring I would learn along the way. Um, so with that, I think I'm going to get the gun set up with the attachments. And... Uh, sand down the bumper or the uh, grill a little bit, rough it up a little bit. Then we're going to spray on the primer, spray on the base coat, and then spray on the clear coat. And that should leave us with just enough time uh, to get dressed and head to the wedding. So with that, I'm going to get to work.
righty, here we go. Here's the look at it in the sun. I think it turned out pretty darn good. Um, I could not see any of the metallic flake inside the garage. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it here. Obviously, it's got some dust from the clear coat on it. Um, but it actually has really good flake to it. Really happy with it. So, like I said, this is not professional. Um, don't, you should probably be able to see that. I did nick that spot with the gun. Um, and then you can see, or probably see, some of those very slight runs over here. Um, not beautiful. But overall, I think it turned out pretty good. And I think it'll match the truck really nicely. Hopefully, obviously we'll tell once I get it on the truck, which I'm not going to do now. Um, and it's also upside down, so hopefully a lot of the imperfections um, are on the bottom side. We'll see. Uh, but overall, pretty darn happy with how it turned out. Well, there we have it. Uh, let me know what you guys think, how it turned out. Very first paint job with a paint gun or an actual paint gun. Um, I think it turned out pretty nicely. Definitely not a show truck. Not going to be a pointing it out to too many people i'll just let it have its effect on the look of the truck uh, but overall pretty darn happy with it now it is time for me to go through the cleanup process there's a lot of it um i think i should be able to go through the grill uh wet sand it down and buff and polish it out and i think it'll turn out pretty darn good um, right now it's got all the dust from the clear coating going on it um, so it's a little dusty looking that's the best way to describe it but yeah, that's it. That's today's video. I apologize for it coming up about a little bit later. Um, I plan on having it come out Sunday morning like I usually do. Life had its way. Didn't get it done. So I'm going to go inside, edit this as quickly as I can, and get it posted for you guys so you can see it before the end of the weekend. Uh, hopefully you guys all had a good weekend. Um, if you're new here and you're not subscribed to the channel and you're interested in stuff like this, watching a unprofessional figure out how to build this truck in a cool way, I um, encourage you to hit the subscribe button. I showed it in the beginning of the video, but we got the new Lincoln welder, new Miller welder here. We're going to, going to be welding up an entire steel bumper for that truck I showed out front. That's why I'm doing this grill, converting it all to the 05 to 07 front end, and then going to be welding up a steel bumper for it. I think it should turn out pretty darn sweet. I'm excited for that project. Once again, teaching myself to weld, just like I was teaching myself to paint. Um, it's all a process. The more you learn, the more you can do yourself, the more money you save. I don't think I'm going to ramble on any longer. Hopefully the video was entertaining to you guys. If you made it this far, I think you guys liked it. So leave it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or comments or questions, leave them down below. Um, I would appreciate it. And I know some other people out there that are probably trying to learn would also appreciate it. Um, to all my current subscribers, thanks for tuning in again. I'll catch you guys on the next video.